Hey y'all, it's cold outside, so we've come into craft. Yes. So we hope you're staying nice and toasty and that you're able to come in and craft with us today. I'm Vonda, this is Paula, Hi. and we're with Scripture DIY, and we're yes. just excited that you're here. Yes, we are. And we hope to help get you motivated. You know, if you're a master crafter, you've probably got Valentine's Day out of the way, and you're working on Easter. So that's yeah. what we're aiming for today. Hey, Alexis. Hi. Um, but if you don't think that you're much of a mass of a crafter at all, yes, you are. Yes, you are, because it's very easy. Yes. And if you work it right, it's inexpensive, and we're going to show you how to do it. Both easy, inexpensive. Yes. It's us. If All I right. can do it, you can do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so today we have a piece of uh, fencing, a little panel. Yep. I cut off um, 20 inches. It's 20 inches long, mm -hmm. so that you did not have to watch paint dry. Yes. We are. We've already done that part for you. We have painted it. Was it a burnt or yeah, burnt umber? Yep. And we're using Appleberry barrel paint. Yep. And so we thought that we would give it a little bit of depth today. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use just a plain black and appleberry. Mm -hmm. And we're just looking actually for just a little texture to go with that brown so that it's not just solid brown. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a chip brush. Mm -hmm. You'd say it's a very used chip brush. The better. The more you use it, the better it is. And we're just going to put just a little bit of black. We're just gonna barely just kind of. And if we got too much, which I did, we're just gonna take it and we're just gonna. She's just gonna smush it around. Smush it around. Yeah. Smush it around. There's no rhyme or reason to it. That's just right. Just we're just it smushing it around. Yeah. And if we get too much, no big deal. We can sand it down. Yeah. So. And I did get a lot right there, so we're just going to kind of help that out along. And I don't think we brought a sanding block. Oh, we had one. I don't think we have. <laughs> we we had did one have yesterday. it. <laughs> we're not going to stress over it. No. Because we are going to put our decal, our right. stencil, on top of this. Right. And so we just barely used it, the black paint, so it's not even wet yet or anymore. Right. So we're gonna go ahead and put our stencils on there. Right. And, hey Kelly. Hi Kelly. So while we're doing this, Paula's gonna get some scripture done. Yes. I'm gonna get some stencils on this board and then we'll meet back with you in just a minute. Right. So did you guys see the scripture of the day today that we posted? So it was from Isaiah chapter 40 and Verse 31, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. And that's so true that if we have hope in the Lord, we have faith in the Lord, um, he does renew our strength and we do run and not grow weary. He does give us strength. Um, and we do walk and not be faint. The more we hope in him, the more faith we have in him. Um, he does give us strength. And I know he sure does for me. But you know, this verse in Isaiah reminded me of another one that's one of my favorites, thanks to one of our friends, Jan. Um, in one of our Bible studies, she had us memorize this one. And it's an awesome one. It's um, from Psalm 103, and it's verse 1 through 5. And it's a good one if you do any memorization, this is a good one to memorize. Um, again, it's Psalm 103, 1 through 5. And this one, the one from Isaiah today reminded me of this. Praise the Lord, O my soul, all my inmost being. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things 
so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. I think that's awesome. Um, we need to remember that we do have benefits. Um, a lot of benefits from the Lord, especially once Jesus came and died on the cross for us. Um, we have a lot of benefits, and it lists them all here in Psalms. Um, he forgives all of our sins. He heals all of our diseases. He redeems us from the pit. So when we ask forgiveness for our sins, he redeems them. Um, he saves us. Once we ask for Jesus to be our Lord and Savior, we don't, we go to heaven. We don't have to go to hell. Um, he crowns us with love and compassion. He loves us so much and has so much compassion for us. And he satisfies our desires with good things. Um, prayer, what an awesome, powerful thing prayer is. Um, he says that we have but to ask and we shall receive. Jesus said that. Um, and our youth is renewed like the eagles. And how many times does he tell us that? Quite a few. So, And you know I'm going to say some words here too. Yeah. I, I think that the more that we need him mm -hmm. and the more that we go to him, yeah. um, the more we realize what he's giving us. Yeah. That if we just go through our lives and we just live our lives and just hope for the best... Yeah. Then we don't have that experience. Right. And, and that relationship. So we don't realize what he's given right. us. Right. We don't realize our benefits. Yes. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. There's a, a big loss there if you just go through your life um, just hoping for the best. Yeah. Yeah. You, when you go through your life um, having faith in God and reading his word, then you know um, what your benefits are and you have you build a deep relationship with God and he you realize he does answer prayer it's, it's kind of like this cup like you fill mm -hmm. it up and you use it mm -hmm. and a little bit more comes in that cup yeah. and you use it and a little bit more comes and it gets in that cup back up. like your strength like your strength yeah but it always seems to be a little bit more than what you started with right Exactly. And then at the end of the day, you look back and you go, wow, this is what God did for me. Yes. Yeah. And the peace, the peace that Jesus gives us, it's like the peace and the comfort and the love. It just keeps getting filled back up and up and up. It's, we have yeah. such an amazing God. Yeah, we do. Such we an really amazing do. God. He's awesome. He is. He is an awesome God. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yes. He is. yes. Yeah. Now, um, I have got the... On here, I've got the stencils got on. The stencils on. Happy Easter, because yeah. it's a bunny. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, um, we both like rustic type things. Yeah. This is so, a farmhouse or rustic, whatever you want to call yeah. it. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is get out the big chip brush. And I love this. You can abuse this brush, <laughs> and it still comes back and is good. Just don't let a lot of latex paint stay on it, right? but it's very, very good. And what I'm going to do is I've just squirted some white paint and I'm using apple barrel, just white. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to brush it very easily on there. We're not going to coat it a lot, um, but we are going to kind of do it a little bit heavier right next to the words. Yeah. Because we want the words yeah. to be sure She's and just kind not going to coat it solid. That's right. So, yeah. what you need to do is before you even get started, you need to think about what is the main focal point of your craft. Mine and ours is this Easter Bunny, mm -hmm. and the words, Hoppy Easter. Right. So that's why we put down brown first, because that's what you're gonna see when you peel up um, all of this stencil. So it's gonna be, you can still see through, can you see through the, mm -hmm. the white? But where the bunny is, the outline of the bunny is going to be a little bit darker. 
Kind of looks like it's been snowing on this board. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah, you want the brown to see through where you don't have the words or the bunny. But where the words are, you want your white to be a little thicker and where the bunny is. It just kind of helps outline yeah. what you got going on here. Yeah. And it will help it pop. But up here where I don't have any words at all up at the top, you can see that, it's gonna be, yeah. it's gonna look like snow. It's real light. Yeah. And when we get through, if I don't like it, we can always go grab that sandpaper. That's right, you can always sand it. So there's really no mistakes. You, you really can't mess uh -huh. up a craft unless, Yeah. I don't know how you can mess up a craft yeah. actually. You can always sand it. Yeah. Throw that thing through the planer and take the paint off. <laughs> yeah, if you just really don't like it at all. Yeah. And I've done that before. And just sand the whole thing. Yeah. Or paint it. Yeah. Or paint it a different color. Right. You can do start that. all over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I want it pretty consistent, so I'm still going to make a little yeah. more up here. Yeah. Okay, so looks like pretty much most of our bunny, the outline is done. Do you see someplace I need to do better? Maybe right here. Right That's there. Right there on that little crook over there. Yeah. His little Maybe neck. right on the S and the T. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty good. Maybe I'll do a little bit more on the hoppy. So we're going to be a little different. Who wants to be like everybody that says happy? We're right. going to be hoppy. Right, so we're hoppy. <laughs> Another good thing about using a chip brush and then just going over it is because this pretty much, it's a little damp, but it's it dries not, pretty fast. It dries really yeah. pretty quick. Yeah. And I'm going to take it over here and dry it a little she's bit. dry it just a second. And she's going to use um, something to go up here on the top. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, I'm going to use some some of this. Now, you can, we're just going to embellish the top a little bit. Um, and we're going to use some of this um, jute cord to wrap around the top of it and tie it off. And then we picked out a ribbon to just make, and it just, I don't know, polka dots just seem like Easter to me. So we're going to use some of this polka dot ribbon to make a little bow for the top of it too. So as soon as she gets that dry, and don't forget y'all, if you like what we're doing, you have to sprinkle with your friends and family. We really appreciate it. Keeps us relevant with Facebook. And if you like us, go to the top. Oops, there's my finger. <laughs> I lost my finger for a minute. <laughs> go to the top and hit like and share. Or I think some of the Facebook pages are now um, different. And there's like three little dots at the top that you have to go to. So, are we, we drying up We've now? been told, yes, okay. that we may lose our like button. Not just us, but everybody. Yeah, yeah. We were, we're hearing rumors about that, so um, I don't know. I don't know what they'll replace it with, right. but that's okay. We still have the love. That's you can right. send us can love. Send us some love. Hey, we'll take love. That's right. We'll take love any day. That's right. Because we know what the greatest commandment of all is, love one another. That's right. Yeah. Oh, these are coming up really nice, and this is going to look awesome, y'all. Bonda did a great job. Well, it takes two. <laughs> well, sometimes if you've got a buddy, use that buddy the best you can. It's just because throwing things together is so much easier. You want to turn it upside down? Sure. Yeah. Sometimes it's just fun to have a buddy to talk to. That's you right. Do it. That's <laughs> right. And then we start using, bouncing the ideas yes. off of each other, which is oh, fun. Oh, yeah. That's a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah. Sometimes that really makes the creative juices flow. But if you don't have a buddy, watch our video. That's and right. We'll show you how we do it. <laughs> That's right. Because <laughs> if you see us do it, then you'll go, oh no, I would have done that. And then you right. change it to what you would have liked to right. have done. And you know what? If you would do something different, put it down in the yeah, comments let and us let us know. Because we always yeah. look at the comments and we always try to comment back to you or we always do comment back to you. Yeah. So. Oh my gosh, this looks so cute. Oh, that cute. is cute. And look at the difference in the bunny. Look at all the yeah. different, can you see the different colors in the bunny? Yeah. Because really it cute. was brown and we put some black on there. Yep. What do you think? 
but we're not quite done. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Just She's one gonna, more thing. One more thing. <laughs> She's going to do some rope. We're going to time it. Yeah. But, um, we're going to give it a little snazzy part right. up there at the top. Right. And I think I'm going to make it a little bow. Yes. Because and I, can I just love that ribbon with the polka dots. I, for some reason, I just think polka dots and Easter. Polka dots and Easter are kind of close to Easter eggs yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, Is that I far just enough love down, it. down, you think? I think so. Okay. And we're going to touch it with a little bit of glue so it yeah. stays got where the we glue need gun it. Going. What do you think? Is that about the right size? I think that's cute. Can y'all see that? No, my arm is in the way. I'm sorry. Yeah, Scissors. I think that's very cute. So I'm just going to tie off a little knot here. We're just going to... And I'm not um, tying this too tight, but because I want it to kind of be a little rough looking. I don't know yeah. if that makes sense to y'all or not. <laughs> okay, and let yeah. me show you how I did this simple little bow. So much easier, a lot, not less, lot less stress. First off, I made a cancer thing, cancer thing, okay? And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pull it down where it's like so, and then I'm going to gather it okay. like this. Now, I have seen it where they tie a knot and put the knot right here, but for this one, I'm going to just fold it and then I'm going to hot glue it on there um, just because this is so wide and I'd much rather it be a little bit narrow than what it would be if I tied it in a knot. So I'm going to get Paula to pass the glue, the hot glue gun. Mm -hmm. Oh good, I burnt my fingers. I can't do crap without burning my fingers. <laughs> right. Can't leave this one out. Gotta do it. Yeah. I think I'm gonna put a little glue on mine. Uh, you just want your your fingers burned. That's I know. Right. I know. I, you gotta be just like me, don't yeah, you? I haven't had my fingers burned in a long time. <laughs> you know, I've been in Colorado for a while, so <laughs> I haven't gotten to do any crap. So this has been so fun. Put me a blob right there while I've got this dried. Right yeah. Okay. Woo! Okay. That's a lot. Oh no, she was trying to get my I was fingers. trying to get her thumbnail. Yeah. Oh, that she did. hurts too. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It would not be the same unless we had burned. That's right. Appendages. <laughs> okay. And y'all laugh, but you know you do the same thing. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Now, if you're watching us on replay, did you tell them? If you're watching us on replay, uh, hit no, that hashtag that. replay and let us know. Right. Because, I mean, we're on at a crazy day, a time today just because. Yes. And I need the glue gun again. Okay. Just because we just felt like doing it. Yes. So you're probably busy. Some other people are trying, probably busy. Right. But we are not. We have to craft. Yeah. So let us know you watch. Let us know what you right. think about it. So put hashtag replay down in the comments so that we know that you watched it later. We really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Ooh, I got that finger too. Okay, okay so I'm going to kind of dovetail this too. Yeah. I, I kind of think it it's not really finished cool until do it does. Yeah. And don't do it backwards like I've done it. Well, <laughs> don't jinx me, girl. Don't jinx me. <laughs> Although I, I just lived with it when I did it. So. <laughs> it's a little different. Everybody's going to have different stuff. Yeah. If we were all the same. I'm just a little odd. <laughs> if, we, if we all looked the same, we'd just be nuts. That's right. <laughs> oh, nothing is stuck. Okay. okay. So she's got the, the, yeah. the rope tied around there. Yes. Okay. So like so. Yep. That cute. That's cute. Okay, so do we want to put a bow like right here, or do we want to put it? I think I like it right there, and then that little string's mm -hmm. hanging down. And a little string. Or we could good. put it right there, but you got no. this hanging down. Yeah, I think it looks better. So together. I think I'm gonna put it. What do you think? I think, I think we'll do that over I here think, on this side. 
Yeah, I'm yeah. like backwards. I'm okay, let's like do backwards. that. Yeah, you are backwards. Yeah, I am very backwards. If you look at yourself <laughs> in the in the phone, you are. Yeah, maybe a little bit like right up here. Oh, above it. A little bit above it. Okay, yeah. well what I'm putting a ton of glue yes. because it's painted. I think that's cute. What do you think? Oh yeah, I wish I had to put it right there. That's okay, it'll come I'll off. I'll peel it off later. Yeah, that's all right. That looks cute. Oh my gosh, look at that. that cuter than what cute. I thought it was going to yes. be. Don't you think? I think so. Much cuter. Yeah. All right, so that ends it for today. Yeah. We are so thankful that you joined us Thank today. Thank you so much for watching. Watched us on replay. That was a good thing for you. Thank you very much because yes. we love you so much. Yes. And we look forward to spending some time with you. Yes, we do. So we will see you again soon. Yeah. So remember... Love one another. Love one another. Bye. Bye. -bye.